Jacqueline, move on. Please. Thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> Your Excellency. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I want to start by saying that uh, this is a very important occasion because under tripartism arrangement, Your Excellency, this is where we belong. I want to recognize your deputy, Brother Rigadi Kashagwa, and also to recognize the chair person of the Council of Governance, Sister N. Waiguru. I want to also to recognize our Minister for Defense, Adan Duale, who is here with us, and my own sister, Florence Bore, who is in charge of this very important ministry of labor and social protection. With our two respective PSS, representatives of UN agencies and other cooperating partners, I will try to be very brief because I'm told my time I've got to share it with my twin sister, Jacqueline Mugo. First and foremost, let me thank you, Your Excellency, for taking personal initiative and commitment on issues related to social security. I wish to equally appreciate the efforts being made by our parent Minister for Labor under the able leadership of our sister, Bore. Sister Bore, historically, she came from us She's part of the labor movement in this country, and she understands the dynamics in social protection and labor movement per se. The Central Organization of Trade Unions being the only national labor center in this country, we support the government on, in this initiative, and for us to realize the adoption of the roadmap towards universal social protection for a socially just future for all Kenyans, we must work together. We have no escape route. That is the only route towards realization of total coverage on universal social protection, which is very important. Let me refer you all to the World Social Protection Report 2020 to 2022 on social protection as the crossroads in pursuit of a better future, which is indicated, which, in, which is indicated, which indicated that the road requires building permanent universal protection, social protection systems to provide adequate and comprehensive coverage to all and guided by the effective a tripartite or under tripartism arrangement as anchored to the international labor organization that regulates the world of work and that comes up with both recommendations and the international labor conventions that protect and urge member states to take keen interest in providing social protection to its citizens. Indeed, these are efforts essentially for preventing poverty and inequality as well as addressing current challenges and particularly uh, uh, those facing uh, old age, uh, like where I'm going because I'm one and part of Kenya's senior citizens. You are experts if you don't have hope when you are retiring or when you are leaving your employment or you are having hope against hope since you didn't have anything in place to lay your hands on, no social protection, you can hardly take three months leaving. The next, the next place of where you will end up is in the grave. I want to thank you, Your Excellency. In your inaugural speech, you included uh, issues related to social protection of Kenyans. However, let me call upon those running other occupational uh, pension schemes, not to view the changes and the seriousness you have taken to transform National Social Security Fund as a threat. This is a compliment, and I would urge them also, and I would urge planners and policy 
makers to come up with a policy that can condense all social uh, uh, security pension schemes into one large insurance scheme that can cover everybody. I don't want to go further. I want only to finish by saying that the International Labor Organization under Convention 102 of 1952 sets out the minimum standards for the provision of social security just as the Constitution of Kenya 2010 under Article 43 on economic and social rights provides that every Kenyan citizen is entitled to pension and social security. I want to end there because I'm sharing my time with my twin sister Jacqueline Mugo uh, by saying that uh, Your Excellency, your hustlers fund must be supported because if it succeeds, this will be a study case for so many countries where the lowly placed people can just pick up a telephone and get a loan. It's not easy, it has never been practiced elsewhere and you shouldn't abandon uh, this area of uh, social protection. And as I end up, I want to take this brief opportunity, Your Excellency, for having taken deliberate, very deliberate decision to provide us, workers, employers, and those people who are in various businesses, including platform economy, to give us what we call industrial peace. We have hope now, and that initiative must not go unsupported. We thank you for that. Thank you very much for listening for me. I invite my twin sister, Sister Jacqueline Mogo. But sometimes you're